Hello, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. Today we're going to be doing the Zodiac sign Aries. Um, who's watching you and why, Aries? Uh, Spirit and I have already shuffled the deck and got the message for you, Aries. Who is watching you and why? So who is watching you with that? Um, we shuffled the deck. The first card came out is Three of Wands. Um, I feel like that it's probably somebody on your job, somebody in management, somebody have a position on the job that's watching you with this three of wands because it's a looking for assistance, planning, attracting helpful people, successful business partners. So I feel like it's somebody on your job, somebody maybe in management or supervisor on the job. With that eight of pentacles, it lets me know that somebody, you know, where you work, uh, is watching you with the Eight of Pentacles. Also, we have the Ace of Cups that came out next. This is going to be a new beginning, a new love. Somebody is watching you, I feel like, on the job. Uh, maybe somebody in a higher position, they watching you. Uh, yeah, uh, it looks like um, with this chariot card that uh, maybe they have moved on from something. And right after that, the Five of Cups came out. Maybe they they just came out of a breakup and they've been watching you. And um, it looks like, you know, that this person is attracted to you. They want to, you know, um, begin something new with you right here. Looks like they have moved on from something from you, maybe, maybe a breakup or something like that. But also... Um, why they watching you? The Queen of Cups came out. They watching you because it seems like that you're very compassionate, a mature woman right here with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, they see you as somebody uh, very uh, compassionate, a uh, mature woman or man. They they see you. It, this resonates with a man or a woman. I'm sorry. You could be, you know, they looking at you all as... You know, um, like I said, a compassionate, mature person, man or woman, uh, with that four four pentacles right here. Uh, it seems like that you know you very responsible right here, very responsible person right here, very responsible. And with the sun card, it looks like um, this person. The reason why they think about you, maybe because. You all have talked on the job. You make them smile. You make them happy. You know, um, you're very understanding. You know, they watching you, you know, you know, on the job with this eight of pentacles. It's somebody from your job, I feel like. This person is coming in is the knight of cups. He's going to come in like a knight in shining armor. Or she is, you know. This could be lead to a marriage with this uh, Ace of Cups or, uh, uh, you know, a very nice romance with the Knight of Cups that's coming in. He's going to be like a knight in shining armor. Um, also, I pulled some more cards over here, um, some Oracle cards. Um, give me just a minute. I just got these cards, but I want to be clear about what I'm going to say about them. Okay, it says... Blooming abundance. This card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like a fruit on a tree above. See that card right there? Okay. Upright, this card signals a new, a new increase in wealth, possibly in a dramatic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like gardeners work on the ground and begin to see blooming results take hold. This card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping you the fruits of your labor to blossom. So with this card being said, this per the Aries, this person is watching you because they see you working hard. You working your way to the top. Not only you, you're very, you a very compassionate person. You makes this person happy, but you working hard for the fruits of your labor. You work. They see you working hard. 
This is somebody on your job, I feel like, with the Eight of Pentacles and their Three of Wands just came out. Somebody is watching you on the job. And they see you working very hard with this uh, blossoming uh, abundance. Also, we have the garden of the, the garden and the gate right here. I'm going to take a look at this uh, card also. Okay, this card shows a peaceful woman, a peaceful woman um peaceful young woman and in a beautiful garden with colorful flowers all around it however 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 the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on a chain around her neck this car upright bots well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal players that's coming your way at this time. So once again, this person is watching you. Why? Because they feel like that you are somebody that's very stable, a hard worker. You know, it seems like y'all gonna have a brand new beginning together. The person that's watching you wants a beginning with you. They want to possibly marry you. He's coming in like the knight in shining armor, and he's watching you. He's watching you work so hard and everything. This is going to be somebody probably is going to come in and help you. Like right there. With the three of wands, it's saying attracting helpful people. They see you working hard. You're working hard for what you want. Also, we got a woman holding a heart right here. I'm going to read that. The woman holding the heart wears a, a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna finish reading the card in her hands. For a woman, this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and receptability for love. Or it might be a message that your family issues are going to be resolved. Okay, just like I said with that car, it's somebody coming in that wants to love you. And I feel like it's this person on your job. Like I said, it's, it's somebody that's been watching you where you work with this Eight of Pentacles. Uh, this could be somebody on your job. I mean, like I said, on your job watching you. This person could be in management, supervisor, or some type of position. And they coming in, they want to offer you love with a new beginning right here. They've been watching you. You're very stable, very mature person. Also, we have this oracle card, Door to Spirit. I'm going to read that. Um... Okay, door to spirit. The door opens onto the the expansive energy realm where all the new beginnings originate. Just like I said, this person wants to come in and offer you a new beginning. Like I said, if somebody wants to come in from, it looks like it's from your work or somewhere like that. That's what it looks like with this Eight of Pentacles. They want to come in off you a new beginning. And I'm going to read a little bit more of that. Okay. Um, okay, Spirit said, now is the time to open up to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of the Spirit into the magic and power of your true identity. So yeah, open up, you know, the power to your true identity. Uh, this person that's been watching you look like they want to offer you something long-term, everlasting, you know. So Spirit wants you to open up to this. This time it's safe to open up to this possibility of new love, a new beginning, uh, this seems like a knight in shining armor. Somebody want to come in and offer you a proposal or love or something like that. They want something with you. 
They want a future with you. You make them happy with this sun card. Yep. So, um, I also have some self-care cards for Aries. I'm going to uh, take the time. The first card came out is self-worth. Why settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? Just like I said, you got this knight in shining armor coming in. This message is for male or female if it resonates with you. Uh, this is the message I have for you. Why well, settle for crumbs when you deserve a whole meal? And that's right. This person want to come in and offer you love and marriage. And he's the knight in shining armor. So spirit say, you know your self-worth. Don't settle for crumbs. Settle for the big, the, the whole loaf. The whole loaf. Settle for the whole loaf. So also that came out uh, was priorities. Priorities. The quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. Make sure your schedule reflects the life you want. So, yeah, make time for this person. Spirit wants you to open a door, like I just had with this card right here. Open a door to this new love. This person seems like that they want something serious with you. So, Spirit says it's okay to open this new door up. Yeah. Okay, also we have the time card here, Aries. Time spent worrying is, is time spent. So don't waste any time just worrying about things, how they're going to work out. Spirit says it's okay to go ahead on and open the door up. Spirit says open the door up. Don't waste too much time worrying. Spirit says it's okay. This person is coming in. Um... It looks like it might be somebody you know. If not, it's somebody you've seen on the job. But this person has been watching you. They have talked to you. So, you know you know who you're talking to and you have talked to. You may have an idea who this is. So, don't spend too much time worrying about it. Spirit should open the door up to possibilities. Okay, the last card I have for you all, Aries, is shine. Don't dim your light. The world needs your unique talents and gifts and shine brightly. So, yeah, this knight in shining armor, comp, armor that's coming in has already seen your light shine. He doesn't want you to dim your light. This person, him or her, doesn't want you to dim your light. You know, they like you that you make them laugh, you make them smile, the sun shines, you make them happy, you know, you very understanding, you shining. Aries, that's why this person is thinking of watching you. And that's why they're watching you shining like a diamond. So you're making them happy. Uh, you very, you know, you're very compassionate. You're a mature woman, a man. So, uh, you know, this seems like it, this was going to be a good connection with you all, Aries. So this person is watching you and that's why they got your, their eyes on you. So uh, I'm going to end the message here. I hope you enjoyed this message, Aries. If you like this message and it resonates with you, pre please press the like, share, and subscribe button. And thank you. See you all next time.